in this seventh section, we continue looking at aspects of Hyper-V management. Specifically, we will look at what it takes to monitor, optimize, and troubleshoot Hyper-V. We begin by monitoring. In this lesson, I begin with providing an overview of monitoring a Hyper-V host or cluster, then shift towards performance and capacity monitoring. There are three core elements to monitoring your Hyper-V environment. First, monitoring the fabric infrastructure, so everything associated with the server infrastructure, the network, compute, connectivity, and storage. Second, performance. We talked a lot about how to provide predictable performance in Section 2, Advanced Networking and Storage. So how do you monitor the environment even if you did everything we talked about in Section 2, such as QoS? Third is capacity. With virtual infrastructure, this is a tricky one, but there are things you can do to monitor historical usage in order to help plan the overall capacity of the environment. There are built-in tools for monitoring, and there are tools from Microsoft, such as System Center, as well as Microsoft's partners. So how do you pick a tool? I can't really talk about third-party tools just because there are so many out there, but I can help you decide between some of the built-in tools versus System Center. In terms of functionality, System Center provides centralized management and monitoring of your entire environment. The built-in tools are focused on standalone deployments. The built-in tools are agentless, therefore you don't need any software installation on the Hyper-V host. System Center requires agent deployments on every individual host. Perhaps the biggest gap of the built-in tools is the reporting capabilities. This is an area where System Center just shines. System Center Operations Manager, or SCOM, provides a wealth of monitoring capabilities for your fabric infrastructure, but it relies on management packs. Management packs provide operation management monitoring by providing application-specific monitoring and alerts. The recommended management packs for Hyper-V are those of Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Manager, Failover Clustering, and storage from either the storage vendor or Windows Scale-Out File Server Management. I do not go into Operations Manager monitoring as this is beyond what I will cover in this course. I could do a separate course just on that. I do walk you through real-time monitoring options available with the built-in tools. Let's talk about Task Manager. Task Manager is a great tool to understand what is going on with your server. It sometimes lies when the server is Hyper-V, however. For instance, consider this screenshot from Task Manager on the right showing CPU utilization of 34%, but the only VM running on the system is consuming around 0%. Where is the truth? First part of the answer is that when you run Task Manager in the parent partition, it knows nothing about CPU usage that is happening in Hyper-V or child partitions. Why? The parent partition is just another partition. To get an exact reading of CPU utilization, you would have to read the CPU utilization of every child or VM utilization. This is what the Hyper-V Manager is showing. To get this reading outside of Hyper-V Manager, you can use Perfmon or Performance Monitor, and I will show you how to do this in the next demo. In this demo, I'll walk you through some of the Performance Monitor settings to get the accurate CPU utilization from Hyper-V and some of the virtual machines. So let's have a look here. You see in the Task Manager it says it's around 25% utilization or 24% utilization. But if we look at the only virtual machine in this system, a Windows 10 VM, it's at around 0%. So obviously there's something running on the parent partition other than what's in the VM, but how do we get accurate reading from both? So let's fire up Performance Monitor. And in Performance Monitor, that's when we'll go ahead and add some counters that are relevant to both the parent, which is what you see in the background, but we will look for guest processor settings, labeled as Hyper-V Worker Virtual Processor. That's where you'll see the two virtual processors assigned to the Windows 10 VM, and I will add these right now that are at 0%, but that's when you start seeing that performance. You see the, the system one at 24, 20 some odd percent, and you'll see the other one in the different colors, in the different colors at the bottom associated with the Windows 10 VM. And the more VMs you have, the more you can 
add this worker processes to be able to view this. Next, we have a look at performance monitoring. To get performance data, consider getting the performance monitor counters for the Hyper-V partition, virtual and logical processors, as well as the IDE controller for Gen 1 VMs, get storage real-time performance monitoring. Additionally, PerfMon counters for the network adapter and the VM bus. I will list the most important counters in the next few slides. First, for CPU, four counters here to help you determine CPU issues and how much time is each virtual or logical processor spending on a given process. Next, memory counters. Here we want to identify what issues, if any, are being caused by dynamic memory. Basically, we want to know if a VM is configured with dynamic memory and it shouldn't be configured with dynamic memory because it has an underlying application managing the memory by itself. Those performance counters will help with that. Next is storage. Storage performance problems are perhaps the most common in a Hyper-V environment simply because storage is the most expensive resource of the fabric. Administrators tend to like to oversubscribe and that ends up causing storage performance issues. These are the storage counters that I recommend. Basically, if you have clustered CSV volumes, read and write for SMB and for file system read and write as well. Capacity monitoring now. Capacity monitoring is about knowing how much capacity is used, how much is available in order to figure out when or if you will run out of your fabric infrastructure capacity. Unfortunately, this is not an area serviced by the built-in tools. System Center, especially when Virtual Machine Manager and Operations Manager are integrated, provide exceptional support here, including native built-in reporting for capacity utilization and forecasting. In the first lesson of this section, we looked at the options available for monitoring. VMM and Operations Manager provide the richest reporting and extensive monitoring and alerting. Built-in tools such as PerfMon provide excellent support for real-time monitoring, but unfortunately, very limited to no reporting. 